Hello everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. Today I'm going to be showing you how to kill Pyro Pete the Invincible the easiest way using a invulnerable spot method and I've brought this video to you before or I've been doing this in a video before and I've actually had a few requests on that video to actually show people exactly how to do it so uh, I'm going to go ahead and do it now and um, basically we're going to spawn Pete in, he's going to appear up there where I've just looked and we're going to just run over here to this spot and grenade jump up behind that little structure so we'll go ahead and spawn Pete in now he'll come down, run over here make sure your grenade mods unequipped so you can grenade jump quickly because he's going to be right behind you and there you go, once we're up, hide behind this post and as you can see, power of Pete's over there and this is what we want to get him to do, he just missed then but we want him to get him actually to jump onto that ledge just there and once he's up on that ledge he will be stuck now you can sit and shoot him from up here, you could probably take most of his shield off by the time he actually jumps up there uh, but for the sake of this video I'm just going to uh, sit and fire the grog nozzle at him just to get him to come over here and there you go, once he's jumped up here you want to get him into that spot and then you just want to come around the corner here now I actually fell off there but all you've got to do is grenade jump back up and then sit behind here and as you're going to see just now, very well timed he will let out an over attack and as you can see it isn't affecting us it's actually very safe to be here as long as you stay in this position and don't stand right in front of him and uh, he will just stay there shooting and glitching out a little bit but you will be able to shoot him as you can see now uh, it might take you a bit longer than it is going to me because I am uh, on normal overpower zero and I've got overpower eight weapons but just for the sake of the video to speed things up a bit you probably didn't want to sit there while I shoot endlessly at him but you can just keep your fingers down on the trigger button and he'll die pretty quickly but there you go, he's dead anyway, and uh, enjoy the loot, get the Seraph Crystals, and uh, it's quite a good way of farming for legendaries, because he does have quite a good drop rate on legendaries, as well as Seraph weapons. So, I hope you guys enjoy this anyway, this method still works all this time, they haven't patched it or anything like that. Give it a try, let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next video, thanks for watching.